Hello everybody. Welcome back to New Woodshire. Well, I wish I could say it was a good morning anyway. It's not ideal, is it? Well, at least we know it rains in Woodshire. What do you think, Squirrel? I know it. Don't even worry about it. Just have a seat right there. Oh, Squirrel's hungry. He said he wants to be fed. There you go. Have a little dog food there. There you go. So, we bought this field, field number one. We bought it last night, yesterday evening, after I left you. Um, I realized I was just a few thousand dollars short, and I couldn't couldn't come up with a way to make that money. I'm kind of disappointed in myself. Um, of all the hours I spent on the skinny farm over on Felsburn, grinding out contracts for other people making thousands of dollars, I forgot how to make money in this game. So, yeah, like I say, I went and did some contracts. We made the money we needed, and we got this field purchased. We also um, had an offer on our coops, our chicken coop and our horse paddock down there. So we sold those. Uh, took the fence down, sold the, the little pins themselves, and took that money and bought two more greenhouses. So we got those put in. They're down there. Well, I'd really planned on harvesting this field this morning, so, hmm, kind of don't know what to do now. I guess we'll go plow. Yeah, probably all we can do. I got this field plowed yesterday afternoon as well, so all we have to do is field number three, and since it's raining, um, uh, well, I could, I could cut the grass. Yeah, yeah, Tyler, our good buddy Tyler come through yesterday from Goldcrest. He brought us our used mowers we purchased from him. Man, those things are in great shape. We got a good deal on those. Uh, heck of a deal. Heck of a deal. Good guy, that Tyler. He really come through for us, and he delivered, so you can't beat that. So we're going to put those to use, but I don't really want to mow in the rain, but I guess I could. I could, I guess. Oh, and we got a new workshop. Ah, yeah, I forgot all about that, didn't I? There you go. We were running out of storage up on top of the hill up there. And we had the old horse paddock here that was just in our way in the chicken coop over there. So might as well get those out of the way and start industrializing the place. See if we can upgrade some things around here. I like this little horse barn. I thought about hauling that thing out of here too, but I don't know. We might be able to do something with it. I kind of like that. It looks pretty neat. So we'll leave that there. Uh, there's our two new greenhouses. One of each, just like on top of the hill. That'll earn us a little... Extra passive income there. I do like that. And our grass right here. Our grass is ready to cut. Well, this isn't ready to cut. But that grass right there is ready to cut. And our patch across the road over there is also ready to go again. So I'm thinking about making some hay bales. Putting them in storage there. In case we do get some horses. I got some straw put away. And I won't need many hay bales. But we do have a tether. So I was thinking about making one one run of hay and then selling the tether here. I don't think I need it. Clear out one run here in the in the uh shed. We're gonna put more equipment in there. Uh yeah. Yeah, I don't think we'd need more than however many we can get in there. If we get twenty four, that'd be great. Um and then the next run we will wrap and sell again wrap for silage bales so i think that's what we might do oh hey a contract i gotta go get the bison back the old buffaloes up on top of the hill over there beside the store uh stefan went and did a contract for us yesterday afternoon and took the buffalo over there and harvested a field for a guy that he knows so made us a quick couple grand there and he just kind of left everything over there he was going home for the evening so i told him we'd come pick it up we can go do that in the rain, can't we? We have to... I think we have to finish either unload the buffalo or... Maybe it's already unloaded and we just have to take the rest of it to the, the grain mill and sell it. And uh, finish the contract out. So let's go see what we can do there. See if we can figure out what part of the process... Woo! Cutting it close there, weren't we? What part of the process we were on. Um, so we got field one purchased. 
and I guess next will be field number six is all the way up in the corner back there behind field number one. Little tiny little corner field over there. Or field number five right here on my left. Uh, don't know why I'm going in the store. I guess to show off my new trailer. Look at that. There you go. So, oh, <laughs> so we, uh, we made the money to buy field number one. When we bought field number one, the bank upped our credit limit. So they upped it to 575,000. Well, this trailer right here is 72,000. So we just enough to, to buy us a, a bail trailer. So we got that going for us. We'll have to come back and get that. I don't want to forget about that. But yeah, that uh, one thing kind of paid for the other there. Uh, well, at least as far as purchasing it, it's not paid for. But uh, one thing enabled the other thing, I should say, uh, allowed us to, to get it. So we got that going for us. That's not bad at all. Just got soybeans sitting out here in the rain. I tell you. You got to watch these guys around here. Well, let's see. Let's go this way. Take a little ride. Yeah, like I say, we have to finish. This should be the last load. Goodness. Treacherous up here. Take this to the green elevator. I believe that's where it has to go. And we should be able to finish our contract as soon as we dump this off. So make a little bit more money. Hopefully this rain will go ahead and dry up. I got to get that field number one. We need to get the buffalo over there. Get it harvested. And there will be some straw as well that we'll need to pick up in bales. So I think we'll just sell these bales. We already have enough. Like I say, I'm not going to store any more than what I have under that shelter right there just for a rainy day kind of fun when we do start some animals may even go with cows um not real sure but um yeah we'll have to go with something we'll have a stockpile for something anyways so uh, let's see almost there i was gonna cut away but yeah i've been talking this long we might as well finish it out while we're right here right and see if we can get over here without tearing everything up Contract finished. Okay, there you go. Didn't take much. Ooh, made a good bonus. $3,600 bonus. Wow, we had a lot of extra crop there. And collect. There you go. Well, that was a very profitable little contract. Good job. We will have to give Stefan a little extra on that one. That was a good hookup he had there. All right, well, let me take this back. I'm going to go ahead and move the buffalo back to the farm. We're not going to be doing anything in this kind of weather, so let me get everything back and put away, and we will figure out what we're going to do next. I'll be right back. Well, we got everything back. Doesn't look like it's going to stop raining on us anytime soon. Uh, let's go fill up our new greenhouses. Couldn't think of the word there. Those, you know, those buildings that we up down there yeah let's go make some money off of them how about that that's a novel idea isn't it let's see we'll pull up to our uh, arms here and we'll have to remember what we did with a bucket i think yeah they're on the rack over here they actually have a dedicated place how about that i don't know if i've ever been on a farm or owned a farm where i had a dedicated place for my forks and buckets and such look at us huh See if we can get lined up to get in there. Whoa. That was aggressive. Alright, so we got a little bit of manure on the ground over there we can scoop up and throw in the the greenhouse. It's not gonna be enough to fill anything up, but it's something we can make money off of anyways. May as well make as much as we can until the until we get some money and, and buy some pigs. I know I was talking to um, Big Papa C, and he's he wants us to get a government subsidy, which I'm really close to doing. I'm thinking about it. Just something to tide us over. He had worked out where we could uh, pay it back at a very small interest rate. 
uh, it would seem very reasonable and um, you know do a short term subsidy so we're thinking about it that's something we might do uh, oh I'm sitting here waiting like something else is going to happen huh? yeah oh wait hmm. let's see yeah there we go we may as well take what little manure we have left down with us so we can put it in there right Not a good sign when you scoop it all up in one bucket full. We may have to go to the store and see if we can purchase some manure. I mean, when you're talking a 100% profit increase, it doubles your profits. Um, you, you really can't beat that, so... Can't argue with that. Let's see, I wonder if we can pour... Just a little bit in there. Spread the wealth around, maybe. At least for a little bit, we'll be making money off of both of them. There we go. I bet. Looks like the rain is lightening up anyways. It's not coming down as hard as it was. And it's definitely getting more light outside, so... Hopefully we'll be... Wow. Well popped right up in there didn't they hopefully they will be the rain will be out of here in just a little bit we can carry on with what we are actually planning to do today well, let's go get some more water bring it down for the other one down there and then might as well since it's raining and we are kind of in chore mode here might as well top off these two greenhouses up here as well back up to my bathtub there everybody fills up their greenhouses from a bathtub right I'm pretty sure that's how you do it. Anyways. I'm glad water is free now. Remember in 17 man, it didn't matter what you did, you had to pay for it. I mean, there were some rivers you even had to pay to take it out of. That was crazy. So at least now, once you pay for the unit, whatever pumping device you have, you don't have to do it anymore. Alright, and we'll get our tomatoes going. Perfect, look at that. We are making money. We sucked all of that 2,000 liters down, don't we? Might be time to look into some new water tanks as well. Of course, this isn't bad. I mean, once you get them going, if you like this one up here, I bet we can do both of these off of one tank. If we've done our job maintaining these at all, they shouldn't take that much, so... Yeah, probably a perfect size tank for the operation we have. I like the hookup, too, on the three-point linkage. That's cool. Pretty cool little setup. I like it. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. That's a bucket on the front there. Don't forget about that. I was just testing that uh, ABS plastic on the water tank there. I want to make sure it was still doing its job. And last one. There we go. Yeah, I said we could do them both on one tank and we just barely did. Tell you what, before we drop it off this time, let's go fill it up. It's not like us to usually leave something empty. It just makes it harder on us down the road, so... Top it off. There we go. Go over here and drop it off. And yeah, I think I'm going to head up to the house, take a little break, and watch some, uh, maybe watch some Sports Center until the, the rain stops. So, I, uh, yeah, let me park this under the shed here and I'm going to go hide from the rain. I'll be back in a little bit.
All right. Well, stopped raining. We got that going for us. Uh, not only did it stop raining, Stefan has already come and harvested field number one over there. So we got that going for us too. It's a pretty good day. Uh, he left the buffalo sitting there at the wash station. We'll go ahead and fuel it up and get it washed off. It is looking pretty dirty there. But first, let's go make some hay. We got the 1455 just sitting here running. Imagine that. And we got some grass cut. Oh yeah, I did. While uh, Stefan was harvesting field one, I did cut the grass. So I did do something, I guess. All right, we're going to, like I say, we're going to go ahead and make hay. Um, I guess while the sun's shining, right? <laughs> like the saying goes. No, um, we're going to go ahead and make hay just because I really don't uh, have any reason to keep the tether. Just taking up a uh, inventory slots, and it is taking up a room in our shed. So let's go ahead and make some money and sell it, get it out of here. Let somebody who needs it use it, and we will buy us a piece of equipment you, we can use a little more regularly. Not sure what that is yet, but uh, definitely something we'll need more than this right now. So I am going to make a stockpile of bales before we sell this thing. Uh, if I knew how to drive yeah anyways so we're gonna tet all this we're gonna get it all turned into hay and then we'll get it all windrowed up and bailed looks like I have a bunch of bailing in my future so yeah thinking about taking up uh, Big Papa C's farm uh, mutual services just thinking about taking them up on the government subsidy there not sure but a little bit of money wouldn't hurt us we could definitely an upgrade to square bales would certainly make our lives faster and the buffalo I'm just not certain the buffalo can stay it's really so hard to unload under the buffalo the the pipe is so low coming the outlet pipe auger pipe whatever you want to call it um, it's so low that you just, there's not many trailers that fit under it, so you're kind of limited there and you almost have to go empty every single time. Every time you empty the hopper on the buffalo, you might as well go empty the trailer because it's almost full, so uh, a little upgrade in size would definitely do us good on that department too, so I don't know. We'll figure that part out. I don't want to, I mean... I know it's not cheating, but it kind of feels like cheating, I guess. Easy money, anyways. Yeah, we got plenty of money coming our way. We just got to wait on it, right? You just got to be patient. We'll have... want to get the bank loan paid off so we can get out from under that thing. And we would definitely be able to upgrade. So I'm hoping that when the Ravenport sale comes through, we will be able to uh, purchase all new tractors and harvester and a bunch of fields so we're gonna significantly upgrade what we have here and speaking of fields or I guess land that we're gonna buy we're gonna buy the old pig farm back where our headquarters used to be when we left um, not much there now but the cow pen so yeah we're gonna buy that back go over there and see if we can rebuild our former headquarters Make it look as pretty as it used to. Speaking of pretty, this is a good looking hay field here, buddy. We are knocking this thing out. Pretty handy little unit. Too bad we don't have use for more hay. I guess we could always sell them, right? That's what I'm going to do with the straw we're picking up here. I don't really have any way to pick it up and put it into storage in the silo, the straw that is. We don't have a loading wagon, so... Really, the only way I have to get it up is the round baler. So, pick it up, take it to the barn, and sell it. All right, pretty cool. And we just gotta run across the road and knock that one out real quick, and then we'll start piling it up and baling it. Easy money. Easy money. I don't know if we're gonna get it all done this afternoon or not. Man, that rain just would not go away. It kept raining and raining. Yeah, what you gonna do? Let's see here. 
I keep forgetting this thing is a little tiny. It's not unfolding any more than it is. Keep running away from fence lines thinking it's going to fold out, and that's all there is. And not as big as my weeder, I guess you could say. You know, you win some, you lose some. You got to, you got a big weeder, you got to have a small tatter, I guess. It's just uh, law of averages. It's basic mathematics there. That's how it goes. Well, I feel like this field is growing back irregularly. Look at this. So this part is already back a growth stage. This was all mowed at the same time, keep in mind. Look at this. That's weird. It was like the very next pass where I mowed that. It's The timing shouldn't be that much off for sure. Huh. Oh well. It'll all grow back sooner or later. So, there you go. We're going to get this done. We're going to go grab a windrower. Speaking of windrowers, how much money do we have in the bank? We have $44,000. I think it's about time we invest in a windrower. That device we have is just, uh, let's call it too smart for me. How about that? We'll be uh, political about it. Say that it's it's not the, the windrower's fault. It's us, right? Yeah, something like that. Anyways, I think it's time for that thing to go. It's caused me enough headache. And if I can't grab three rows with it in the straw field, then kind of, yeah, we can do better. We can definitely do three rows with the other one. So they're just about the same width. Um, you know, now that I mention it, I did say I was going to save up for a merger, though, didn't I? Let me see what we can do. Let's see what we can do on that front. We'll have to talk to Mr. Julian down at the store. Maybe we can sweet talk him into a little more line of credit there. See if he can order us a Coon Merge Max. I don't know if we really need one of those, but it'd sure be cool to play with, so. We'll see what we can do. Alright, well. Let me finish doing this. I'll go grab the Windrower and the Baler. And, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, just got done talking to Mr. Julian in there, and he is going to give us, well, it's going to work out to where we have a few weeks to come up with the money that we need for the Merge Max there. He is going to go ahead and order us one from Coon. He doesn't have any, just as I expected. Uh, why would you, right? Uh, not something most people would keep on hand. So, yeah, we just leased this one. We're going to use this one... Um, I don't think I'll keep it uh, on lease. I'll just use it today and then return it. And the next time we cut for silage bales, I'll go ahead and lease it again. It's about fifteen hundred bucks, so not exactly cheap, but it's definitely not going to break the bank. Um, especially if we're just going to do it once or twice. I also sold the tether for ten thousand dollars, so we got a better deal on that than I thought we were going to get. Which makes this a little easier to absorb here. Let's see, I wonder how far I can actually get. Drop these as close to the fence as we can get them. Hey, that's not bad right there. Not bad at all, huh? Alright, so. Yeah, these will work just fine in the meantime. I can bang the rotors off of these off the fence posts as I go down through here. And it's making a pretty decent windrow, so this will make short work of this field when the baler gets in here. Definitely. Oops. There we go, banging off that fence post. Definitely a little bit wider than the one we had. Oh, well, there's some money, too. I forgot about that. If we're not going to use the one we have, we may as well sell it, shouldn't we? Let's not be silly about this. Just leave it over there sitting under the shelter. Yeah, I forgot about that, so we got to take that to the store, too. That will help uh, with the $110,000 cost of the Merge Max. Ooh. Made my heart race there when I said it out loud. That's, ooh, that's a big number. $110,000. That's all right. 
It's worth it. Jockey Inc. is worth it. We're going to make the investment. Like I say, we will have money sooner or later. This will not be an issue for us, so. Guess got to have to wait for our rich uncle to get out of the poorhouse. That's all we got to do. Just as simple as that. I'm told it'll be any day now, so. Life will, life will be good. And, yeah. That's it. Get this done. All right. Well, yeah, I think that's it. I was going to see what else we can get done this afternoon, but I think we will wait and bail this uh, tomorrow. We will get these bales picked up, put under the shed there. We will try out our new trailer. We have our Anderson trailer. We've already got it back to the shop, so it is sitting under the shelter there waiting to be used for the first time. So we'll get these bailed up tomorrow. And like I say, these are going to be our storage bales beside the straw bales that we already have there. So we will keep the hay that we bale up. We will sell the straw that we bale up. But that will be another day. So... I want to thank you for coming and hanging out with me. I am Golf Cart Jockey, and I want you to have a good day.